Hello everyone and welcome to episode 34 of the UJPW series here on the channel. This is TW2020 of course and it is the year 1996 for this series and uh, man I cannot believe we're already in 96. <laughs> really just uh it just feels like we just started. I don't know it's weird um as far as uh from a time perspective. But yeah, uh, obviously before we get into the New Year Giant series, we have the awards to go through. So that's why we have it not on the actual start of the tour day. I will say this though, the tour itself, I did cut down a couple of shows because I think I want to do the two blocks again for the Champion Carnival. And that way, you know, a little bit more shows and make sure that you know, it's kind of less of a chance for somebody to get hurt before the Champion Carnival. That would definitely suck. But uh, we also have someone leaving us. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm sure we'll see him later on here during this part of like the little intro part where we're taking a look at the awards which rest of the year Toshak Kawada what a year this man had as far as from a story perspective and also from a obviously wrestler standpoint yeah as far as being his first ever wrestler of the year award and uh, really the big thing for, with Kawada here he was missed all almost all of of 94 got injured in May was out for the rest of the year comes back has a phenomenal year. Beats Masawa. Finally gets that triple crown title match. Has a pretty good champion card. But ends up losing in the end. Then you know as far as he. Still you know as far as he beats Kobashi. And he loses to Masawa for the unified grand heavyweight title. And of course we saw in the finals of the. Uh, whatever it is I'm about to say. It's somewhere around here. The Royal Road finals to. Crown our first ever Ricky Doze Memorial Cup winner, and also, you know, as far as Kobashi going on to face Masawa and beating Masawa at that October Giant Series show, uh, and to also be in the finals of the Real World Tag League, that is quite a accomplishment for Toshiro Kawada. The man just kept on coming up short throughout the year 1995. It's a year that he would like to forget, but at least he started off the year with a huge win over Masawa, and I, I think really that Triple Crown getting that the two out of three falls win over him too it's it's pretty special and uh you know he's had some some fun matches obviously there you look from literally from december to april all but five are light blue and above <laughs> that's pretty crazy if it wasn't for this pre-show match that he came back uh as far as his first match back the pre-show matchup with yuji nagata I'm sure his average rating would be even higher, like, because I think the lowest besides that's probably, like, a either that 74, I think I saw a 71 up here. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, no, yeah, so it would be the 74, so yeah, that average rating would be up, and, I mean, he's just an absolute menace. But what a year for Toshak Guada. Come here, hey, it's us. Hell yeah, I think we won it last year, too, I believe. Oh, I was hoping it'd show us there. That's all right, we'll take a look at all that awards history and whatnot. Then, but Stan Anson and Dan Spivey winning the uh, Tag Team of the Year award. The first time they've won the trophy, so that's fun. That is pretty sick as far as they've had. I was just kind of, they've had some great matches, though, uh, along the way. I think there probably should have been probably a better team, like either the Holy Demon Army or even the British Combat Club. That probably been my pick would, would have been the British Combat Club, but they did have this 99 with Terry Funk and Cactus Jack. Also, uh, you know, as far as standing in that 99 with Kawada. Yeah, I mean, they did have a 99 overall match, but I just, I don't know. Yeah, the Holy Demon Army match, too, was, was solid. Yeah, I mean, I, they've had, they had a solid run, for sure. It's just weird, because obviously Stan, I think, has done more for that team than obviously Spivey has, so it's just kind of weird. I'd rather it be like a British Combat Club or Holy Demon Army, where they're both at the same level, and they're both very, very important for their teams, respectively. Match of the year, though. <laughs> it's a fucking match from Superstars. That better have been, like, a hundred. Let's, let's see. I have to find this. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I don't know, I went too far. Now I'm in November. I gotta go back up here. Yep. Literally the last ever show. A hundred. Mr. Perfect in the Mountie. Unreal. I gotta see. Have they ever... Hey, that Superstar there. It's so funny. The top three shows have been Superstar tapings. They've had a couple of hundreds. It's been a while, though. They had three in 93. And then, uh, obviously, the one you just saw. Obviously, the one you just saw there in 95. 
that's pretty, pretty shy. Yeah, they're rolling the money. You're seeing they're hiring a lot of people. Uh, they're looking to sign Cactus Jack. That's the person. And uh, it was between WCW and WWF, but he signed with WCW. So it, it just got too much. You know, again, we're kind of treading water. I don't want to risk it by sinking the ship. We can make a star pretty quickly, I think. And I, I'm feeling pretty confident about the talent that we actually have. And if someone rotates out, that's completely fine. As long as we don't lose the four pillars or Shin Yashimoto, Masahiro Chono, Kaiji Muto, kind of the core of what our main event foundation is. The British Combat Club now, like I would say, besides Johnny Smith, but even like Regal and, and Norman, I don't, I wouldn't want to lose. And Doc and Hanson, you know, as far as that's probably our... And, and Dean Malenko too, and Ultimo Dragon, a couple of our juniors, Ligers. So it's kind of like there's our core guys. Everybody else, we can kind of rotate freely. We did have the show of the year, though. The Summer Action Series show, which that, of course, that was a hell of a show. Uh, from what I remember, let's see if we can go back to see it. As far as I... should be right around here. There it is. Yeah, of course, the triple threat, or the two out of three falls matchup. Oh, no, that was the rematch of the two out of three falls matchup, excuse me, as Masao beating Quad and then the British Combat Club versus Cho and Omuda for the uh, Unified World Tag Team titles and Tawei and Kobashi. So it's interesting... This, I will just say this, the New Year Giant Series, that's the main event for this tour, and then this is the co-main, so that's a pretty great bar to have, so that should be fantastic, to, as far as the 98, New Year Giant Series, I, you know, we try to make that a big deal, and I think that it's going to be a, a super big deal for this year's too, Young Wrestler, Chris Candido, which I thought he won last year too, uh, fantastic, you know, Candido's the man. Doing very well for himself. Still, you know, five years of experience, but only 23 years old. Yeah, he did it twice. That's what I thought. Good shit. Veteran of the year. I bet it's Stan Hansen. Yeah, I was about to say, it's either Stan Hansen or Terry Funk, and that makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Female the rest of the year. Kira Kuda. Makes sense. She's been fantastic. I think she won it last year, too, from what I remember. But yeah, she, that, that checks out. Most improved company. As far as the American company, International Wrestling All-Stars. Huh. Oh, they're losing money. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sure that will not go well. Independent rest of the year, of course, was, again, Akira Kuda. Which, uh, I'm surprised she works for ULL still. Because just definitely all Japan women should sign her up, for sure. Victor Quinones was the manager of the year, interesting. He's probably working just wing. Oh, yeah. yeah no, no. Huh. That is, uh... Hold on, what's the stats? I mean, if he's... 95 charisma, holy shit. I gotta track this. Where's the charisma? Yeah. God damn. Well. So he'll get signed up eventually. I don't know, though, since he is the owner of Wing. Uh, but the announcer of the year is our announcer, Kenji Waka Wakabayashi. Uh, color commentator of the year was Larry Sabisco. And the referee of the year, Nick Patrick, not fucking one of our refs. Unreal. We got robbed. <laughs> we, got, we got robbed for sure. As uh, we'll take a look at the Power Five Hundred. As yeah, there's Kawada, Masawa, Kobashi, Taue. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how it should go. That's fucking awesome. Then Chono. I got Tiger Mask Three though up there at seven. Oh, wait, I gotta I got make sure it's not, like, just... Okay, it's just UJPW. I fucking knew it. I was like, there's no way that's... Okay, that, that makes more sense. Kurt Henning, though, gets into the top five. Masahiro Chono. Then, I mean, still, he's right there. It's at seven. And, uh, Tiger Mask three. Kaiji Mudo, Steve Williams, Stan Hansen in ten. Surprise, Norman's not in the top ten, to be honest. But I think that 60 kind of fucked him. Which, again, uh... I just sometimes a bad match can really fuck you. Because, yeah, you're looking at everybody else... You kind of see it there with Tiger Mask 3, but, uh, Koji Kanemoto, but, uh, of course he had the 99 tag match with, uh, Dean Malenko and Wild Pegasus. So that helped him out a lot. Albright, doing very well for himself at 12, Terry Funk 13, Regal 14, Dragon 15, eh, Ultimate Warrior, Ric Flair, Shin Yashimoto at 18, 19, Bret Hart, Seoji Kikuchi's in the top 20, very interesting, Cactus Jack, fortunately will be leaving us, but... He's the man. Very, very happy for him. As far as I, 
I, I can't keep him down when I just know. I don't think, even though he's in the top 25 of the world, I just don't think he's ever going to hit that level that I think he could in WCW where he could legitimately be like the guy. Rick Martel, there at 22. Liger, 23, of course. He probably will not be listed highly in next year's, or yeah, this year's rather now. Um, power 50, be, or Power 500, because obviously the injury. He's out for still like six, seven months. Randy Savage at 24, 25. Dean Malenko. Surprised he's not higher as well. His average rating is an 84. That is pretty good. I think it's just because Cactus worked a little bit more. But even in Liger, you know, as far as 47 and 15 and three draws. Yeah. Not bad. Hayabusa, junior champion, obviously, at 26. Undertaker, 27. Roshi Hase, 28. Super Astro, 29. Big Van Vader at 30. Of course, he was working with us for a good bit of, uh, of the time, obviously, up until the Best Super Junior Finals. So he probably won't be that high next year, if I had to guess. Dan Spivey, 31. You can thank Stan Hansen for that. Jenny Jiru Tenra, 32. Kensuke Sasaki, 33. Benoit, 34. Jacques Rougeau, at 36. Or 35, rather. Phil LaFawn and Doug Brennan is there, at 36 and 37. Shawn Michaels, at 38, is quite interesting for 1995. Because he's, obviously, this that's kind of like his year when he takes that, that leap up into the main event level. Yeah, 30 years old. Stats really aren't that crazy when you look at them. I mean, the selling and consistency and safety and all that's great. But, like, the psychology's not that... It's probably where it should be. The technical should probably be a little higher. And the flashiness should be way higher. That's crazy. And it's, uh... Yeah, everything's stayed about the same. Well, hardcore's gone a little bit up. Pro Wrestle has gone up a little bit. Uh, Bronze went down. And so is the flashiness. Huh. Looks like he's declining. Well, that's not good. <laughs> now, his charisma is still the same. Microphone's a little better. Acting's a little better. I love in a world where Shawn Michaels has less charisma than Victor Kenyotis. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pop. Masu Fuchi. 39. 40s, Jake Roberts. 41's Hogan. Ray Trailer. 42. Necro Casas, our first luchador that's not with us, as far as, you know, Super Astro and Ultimo Dragon and whatnot. Rick Root at 44, 45 Johnny Ace, El Samurai 46, Octagon at 47, Yoshinari Ogawa 48, 49 Johnny Smith 50, Drew Nakayama jumped up nine spots. Terry Gordy stayed about the same, uh, went up one spot. Blue Panther stayed about the same. Brad Armstrong, of course, had a big year, took a giant leap for us, and he jumped up from 232 to 53rd. Had a, had a hell of a run there towards the end of the year, though. You're seeing he won. He's beaten everybody <laughs> during the uh, new October Giant Series and even during some of the TV tapings. That's Jim Duggan. That's 56. Bam Bam. At, or at 55, rather, for Jim Duggan. 56 for Bam Bam. Tatanka, 57. Candido. Almost in the top 50. Here, Von Eric. 59. Ricky Choshu. Atlantis. Solar. Antonio Inoki, who's... Probably going to be pretty low, if I had to guess, in next year's ranking. Nobuhiku Dukata for, uh, at, here at 64. Of course, him and Stan Hansen having a UW5 match is, is pretty nuts. I would pay big money to see that. Mike Rotundo there at uh, 65. Big Titan. David Boy Smith. Sting. Sasuke. Mike Awesome. Surprise, Mike Awesome's lower than Big Titan. That is interesting. Very interesting. Dos Caras, Asbury Wyndham, Ron Simmons, Jerry Sags, I'm surprised Brian Nobson isn't close, Jerry Strada, Derek, uh, Dr. Wagner Jr., Steve Austin with no picture for some reason. It's odd. Let's go ahead and try to fix that if we can. I think we have to go into the editing thing though because he's not on the roster. Tiger Mask 3, or just OG Tiger Mask rather, excuse me, Satoya Sayama. There at 79, Blue Demon Jr. at 80, Hector Guerrero, El Kanek. 82, Terry Taylor, Nuki Sana. Look at Mr. Hughes. Wow, he had an 85? Oh, it's because everybody else in that match <laughs> is really good. Bob Eaton, Ricky Steamboat. Look at fucking Steamboat's only lost seven times <laughs> during the year. Ed is in uh, the top 100. That's awesome. John Tenta at 89. Two Cold Scorpio even made it into the top 100. Marty Janetti, Yuki Shikawa. Felino, 
Rogue Warrior Hawk. No animal, though. Akira Maeda. Tom Zink. Yoji Anjo. Brian Nobs there. 99. There's Rogue Warrior Hawk at a... Or Rogue Warrior Animal, rather, at 100. So, Pillman at 101. We will now go to just UJPW. So, we can see the rest of the list. So, yeah. Head on our A gets there at 105. Shirakashi Naka, 115. Funaki, 116. Head on our B, 117. Firecat, a.k.a. Brady Boone, at 125. 126 for Brad Rannigans. Fujinami at 128. Eddie Gilbert, 131. Shinichi Nakano, 137, 4, 145 for Trace Smothers, 148 for Kyaki Kobayashi, Vampiro, just before the 150 spot, at 149, Scott Norton, 152, Takeo Moy, 154, Zakira, Nogami there, 155, Dory Funk Jr., 159, he's dropped down a little bit, Minoru Tanaka jumping up, you'd love to see that at 168, George Takano, of course, with that broken neck, probably won't be rated very highly next year as well, Damian, 666, at 174, Kyoshi Tamora, 182. I believe he's going to take a big leap, though, next year. As uh, Super Strong Machine, at 183. Taz, 192. Tommy Rogers, right at 200. Uh, Bobby Fulton, at 206. Naria Hanaga, 222. Shunri Takano, 227. Ozaka, 228. 230 for Gama Singh. Black Cat, at 233, which obviously he's just kind of a rough horse now, but very cool to see what he's able to do. With, uh, oh wow, look at Dragon Kid. So, pretty nice. Oh. Might have to assign uh, Dragon Kid up as Izuka at 237, Joel Deaton at 244. As far as uh, Bobby, or, uh, yeah, uh, Bobby Fulton, rather, as, uh, oh no, Tommy Fulton, Jesus. Why, why am I <laughs> blanking on the third Fantastic here as far as, uh, Jesus? Jackie Fulton, oh my god. Lord have mercy. Tell it's been a long one. Jensei Shinzaki at 263. Bill Anderson, 266. Otani, 268. It's not bad at all for a young lion, basically. Saito, 305. Masato Tanaka, 308. Tenzan, 313. Kojima, 317. Giant Baba still makes the top 500 there at 325. Aoyage, 372. Yamasaki, 380. Wellington Wilkins Jr., 402. 412 for Satoru Sako. Samadishimura, 422. Katoshiga, Shiga, 428. Katsumi Usuda, for what looks like 441, 454 for Mitsuya Moto, 456 for Yuji Nagata, 457 for Manamu Nakanishi and Masao Noe, 462, Yoshiro Takayama, 469, 479 for Animal Amaguchi, and then 495 for Teo Kia. Great stuff there. As far as, th there was a lot, a lot of people. I, uh, I'm very, very pleased to see how well we have done here so far with All Japan now, UJBW, as far as combining both All Japan and New Japan. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I will say this, though, for this tour, I have a couple of things pre-booked, but it stops around night five. It's kind of our last pre-booked thing. Just kind of hit a wall. Um, that happens sometimes. Well, I'm sure once I get just kind of get rolling, I'll start adding more and more stuff to pre-show or to the pre-booking page. Make this a little easier, because obviously with running through the intro and whatnot, it's going to be a little longer than what we usually do. But uh, this should be a fantastic episode, though, because the card, which we'll run through now, episode 34, of course, New Year Giant Series, talked about the main event in Komei. There's so much more to this card. Of course, the Battle Royal, the crown, the number one contender for the Grand Heavyweight title on night one, which you see, well, that will be Akira Taue winning that. Since we were already planning on having Taue challenge Kobashi, might as well just have, you know, might as well do it here for New Year Giant Series, have him beat... And win that fucking battle royal and just have a grand old time. Eight man tag for night two though we have as Tor as uh, Cactus Jack rather Terry Funk Wild Pegasus Dimalenko against Roshiase Kinsuke Sasaki Ultimate Dragon and Super Astro taking two title matches on that final show putting them to one to build it up. Tailway and Black Tiger two against Kobashi and Junior Akiyama that's a fun little matchup from night three night four. We're going to have the two junior title matches combined into one match for a six-man tag. Nyuki Sano, D. Malenko, Wild Pegasus taking on Hayabusa with Ultima Dragon and Super Astro. Night 5, of course, will be a six-man. Kind of forget what exactly the six-man will be, but uh, as I just now realized. There we go. This Lexic ass. Nailed it. As, uh, yeah, the New Year Giant Series main event. Kome, we already talked about. Junior tag team title matchup, Wild Pegasus and D. Malenko. Challenging this time to take on Ultima Dragon and Super Astro. Of course, these two men... Or these two teams, rather, excuse me. 
battled it out to determine who will be the first junior heavyweight tag team champions, which Wild Pegasus and Dean Malenko won. It's a chance for redemption for Ultimate Dragon Super Astro, or will Wild Pegasus and Dean Malenko start their second reign? Junior heavyweight title matchup, Nuki Sana versus Hayabusa. I, I've been loving what Nuki Sana's been bringing, and Hayabusa's done pretty well for himself, but I think a Nuki Sano title match is this kind of perfect spot for it here. We'll see how that match plays out. It should be a banger, though. Shinya Hashimoto versus Mitsuo Masawa. This match has happened one time. It was for the IWGP Everyway title. It was last year. Come back again and do this. Uh, this is, you know, for a number one contendership matchup. This should be a banger, you know, for sure, with Hashimoto Mitsuo Masawa. All Asia Tag Team title matchup, Terry Funk and Cactus Jack versus Roshi Hase and Kensuke Sasaki. Now that we know that Cactus Jack is leaving, I think that gives everybody <laughs> the big reveal what's going to happen there. Holy Human Army versus Miracle Vines Alliance. That's a six-man matchup, as is Stan Hansen, Chris Candia, and Johnny Ace, of course, against Super Generation Army, which will be Seoshi Kikuchi, Jun Akiyama, and Tiger Mask 3. As far as the Miracle Vines Alliance, I believe that's going to be the top three guys. I don't think that's going to involve Taz, and for the Holy Demon Army, that will be Kawada, Ogawa, and Fuchi there. So, that, I mean, it should be a fun little matchup there. I, I know Miracle Vines Alliance will be a little bigger, so that's probably going to help them out in the long run, but... Um, yeah, I think this is this is a perfect card, though. There's a lot of things I like about it. Title matches, I think all of them have their place, and they should do that 85+. plus. Most of them should honestly be in the 95-plus category. We'll see if that ends up being true. But uh, on to the first night of the tour. All righty, night one. As uh, let's, uh, we have to make sure we have this as a like little event, as far as I forgot to turn that off. But really, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, as I forgot to hit save. <laughs> there we go. Oh, an idiot. I guess we, we should still have a pretty good matchup. Hopefully. There, that's, you know, fingers crossed on that one. But backstage incidents, a couple of them. Great sauce games. Buffalo vs. Court accused of not joining the rest of the locker room for a night out as the judge stands and found them guilty and said, so shut up and buy drinks for them after the show. Oh, I didn't even tell him to shut up. <laughs> that was just the answer me like, shut up. <laughs> Shut up, you fuck, as Taue then passing on selling to Masato Tanaka. Let's see where we're gonna. Oh, yeah. Um, we should probably run. Goddamn. Don't think we're running the Tokyo Dome, but that would be pretty impressive. Oh, boy. Yeah, I didn't even think about that as far as uh, a venue big enough to run this fucking thing. Well, uh, it looks like we are going to run the, uh, because, yeah, the Osaka Dome, I forgot that the Osaka Dome is not a thing yet. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could run Osaka Joe Hall, but we should probably actually run the Dome since we could have 60,000 there. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. So the Battle Royal, I hate that this is probably going to be the main, but here's the participants, uh, Kiyosato, Kiritawe, Akatoshi Saito, Anamamakuchi, Big Titan, Brad Rannigans, Cam Express, Jinichiro Tenryu, Giant Baba, The Head Honors, Mitsumoto, Scott Noe, and Chunji Nakano, Takashi Izuka, Tatsuma Fujinami, Taz, The Great Gama, and then Wellington Wilkins Jr. Not a bad final four there as well because it's going to be Tawe, Doug Furness, Head Hunter A, and then uh, Jinichiro Tenryu, the final two being Tenryu and Tawe, which do love that, and Tawe's gonna have the most eliminations as well. Oh, Fujinami's road agent. Tenryu's upset. Fuck it. Uh, so we got the Three Musketeers in the British Combat Club. Love this match. A six-man tag as Hashimoto's gonna be Johnny Smith. We'll probably have that go right before. Then uh, Cactus Jack, Terry Funk, and uh, the Gladiator taking on the Fighting World Choshu as the Gladiator gonna beat Ricky Choshu. It's a big win for the Gladiator. And Junakiyama and Crusher Bam Bam. Of course, Junakiyama gonna get the win there. Oh, it's Bam Bam. Huh. Interesting. So he starts in four days, so we still should be able to use him maybe another day. Huh. Fascinating. Is he, uh, let me. Oh, he's already working for the WBF. Okay. I see. I see. So they must have they must have their um, superstar tapings on a Tuesday. Then is what that is. Uh, we could just push that to the next day, I guess. Just go ahead and do that. I gotta 
Scroll all the way fucking down. There we go. Oh, that's right. Can't do that here. Jesus Murphy has uh, Nuki Sano, El Samurai against Hayabusa Firecat. This is the Steel the Show matchup with El Samurai gonna beat Firecat there in 10 minutes. Now, really, the big thing is what we should have as, like, the main event for this night because that Battle Royale, I don't think, is gonna be good enough for it to be, like, a normal show. We have maybe a couple options. We could have, like, maybe a junior tag team title matchup as far as, um, I think what would be a, a nice team for them to face. I'm just kind of take a look here in the history and just maybe a team can uh, can pop up on us. So obviously they uh, obviously had their rural tag league run as well. Let's see here, I'm not really seeing a whole lot as far as because uh, obviously like Fuchino Gawa they had already beaten them already on that TV taping. Yeah, that's, um, that's, this is going to be interesting one, because, like, Liger, obviously, being out really kind of throws this and, and kind of jumbles this up a lot. It's kind of the, uh, the big thing there, more than anything. That's crazy. Richard Slinger, of course, was still part of the company to begin the year. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to be a, an option. And, of course, you know, Norman and, and Regal... We could have potentially had a title match for this night, and same thing for maybe Hase and Kensuke Sasaki. Uh, but you know, it it works out in the end. We might not get one. I guess we could have um, Kento Kobashi have a title match. Didn't really think of that. So we can kind of see. So obviously, had the All Bright match. Yeah, I have him and Doc. That'd be sick. Yeah. Him and Doc. Why not? This would be a better match than uh, him and Albright. We probably should have flipped that. Probably had Albright have uh, the title match on this night and then had Doc have it, the actual final show of the uh, of 1995. At the Real World Tag League Finals. But this is still going to be a pretty banger of a show. 36 minutes. Kobashi going to beat him. It'll be his second defense. It's hell of a win, though. Hell of a win. Should be a banger. Because they've had a couple of matches, obviously, in, like during the Champion Carnival. That's about it. And that's the only time they've they faced off singles wise. Yeah, and you know, Kobashi had only beat him once. That was uh, ninety four last year, of course. Doc beat him, and the year before that, in ninety three, as far as Doc beat him. So this is just a perfect little main event, I think. Looks like uh... okay. No, we're good. Uh, yes, that yeah, that Bam Bam match. Just no big deal. Um, uh, we could have. As far as that giant cactus is already working. So let's just kind of get some undercard stuff in here while we're, we're thinking about Super Strong Machine. Or we could either go Vampiro here. I know we haven't used Vamp in a couple of months now. Do him and um, Osama Nishimura. Should be a, a pretty good little junior match. So we'll have uh, Vamp get the win. Nice. Before I go with a six man, uh, the tactical tactician squad. So we'll have Funaki, Tanaka, and then Otani. If I can, is Otani, oh, that's right, I think Otani, oh, no, he's fine, I thought he was hurt. <laughs> it's, um, now for that team that will face, though, is the, uh, just the real question here. Yami Sayama's a good shout. And then, like, maybe Kyoshi Tomura. Or we could even go with um, the Revolution. Go with Kaki Kobayashi. And I don't think there's enough juniors, though, for that to work. We'll go with Hiro Saito, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, like, the old guard. 
of like the of the New Japan side, so uh, the former you know New Japan side, so Hanaga, Saido, Sayama. I like that. Yeah, that's a fun little fun little matchup. So we'll have Otani get a win, springboard him up into ninety six with a win. He will beat Hanaga. Sick. We got to sign some young lions as well. Funny enough, I, I know our kind of young lion classes. They're all pretty much graduating, so now we gotta move on and bring in some flesh or some fresh blood. Um, I know Teoki is probably like our only actual like true legit. Well, him and Honda and Shiga. So I guess we have three. So it's not terrible. Yeah, we haven't used Kento Shiga in a hot minute. So we have another junior. Matchup on this card. I don't hate it, but I, I don't love it either. We'll probably use a Sako. Oh, that's right, he's still not recognizable anymore. Uh, we got Black Tiger 2. Yeah, we'll go with Eddie. Not bad at all. Have we done this before? I wonder. I bet we've probably done it once. Oh, no. First time meeting. And that is night one. In the books, uh, you know, as far as pretty solid night, obviously it just got a whole lot better with a unified grand title matchup. Oh, yeah, we gotta change some time around. Get a 2.30 show. All right. Of course, Vader, of course, making his <laughs> big debut with us. So uh, make sure we're still good to go on that perspective. Yep. All right. Night one. Let's run it. A 67 for the opener. Black Tiger 2 getting the one with the Frog Splash. Decent little opener. Not bad at all. 70 for the next matchup. Tactical Technician Squad against the former Old Guard of New Japan. Yeah, I mean, the Tactical Technician Squad outperformed everybody but Sayama. And even then, Funaki and Sayama were the same rated uh, performance. So that's it's nice to see. Tactical Technician Squad is uh, really, really good, to be honest. They're a hell of a team. So Osama, Nishimura, and Vampiro, pretty close. Just Vampiro a little bit better. Vampiro with the nail in the coffin in 10-14. A 69 rated matchup. Noise. Noise stuff there. That hit next segment. There we go, 77. For Nuki Sano, now Samurai against Hayabusa and Firecat. As uh, El Samurai pinning Firecat with the Samurai Bomb. I got a 77 thanks to uh, Hayabusa and Nuki Sano. That match... It's looking to be pretty good when we actually run it. A 90 for the sixth man of the Gladiator with Terry Funk and Cactus Jack against the Fighting World of Choshu. Mike Awesome, the Gladiator, beating Ricky Choshu. Everybody in this match did really good but Choshu. So, that that works out well. Nice to see Mike Awesome doing well. And 97 for the Three Musketeers and uh, the British Combat Club. Jumping Spike DDT for Hashimoto over Johnny Smith. Yeah, just that, that makes a lot of sense. Johnny Smith, though, 86. That's really good. Like, yeah, before Modo, uh, Mudo and Chona, which Mudo was off his game, but still, that's, that's really good. <laughs> the Rush Combat Club has turned into quite the little group in the Battle Royal, the Million Yen Battle Royal that Termini is going to take on uh, Kendo Kobashi or Dr. Dusty Williams. Doc would have won this match coming up in the main, but uh, Tawei gets the win. Tenryu and Head Hunter A and Doug, Fun Doug Furness is our final four. Could have been a lot worse, to be honest. Could have been a lot, a lot worse in a 95 for a main event. There's a lack of psychology there, but... God damn it, they, they, they fucking killed it, though. <laughs> it's the second defense for the Unified Grand Heavyweight title reign of Kendo Kobashi here. And he gets the one with the Orange Crush. You love that, just before the 36-minute mark. Yeah, I mean... That six-man... We probably could have just had that be the main, honestly. And not had a title match. But I loved it. I, I loved it. That card and that structured, um, having like four junior matches and the four like heavyweight matches. I like that. that. That flowed together pretty well. Not bad. Not a bad start to the tour at all. Very happy with that performance. On to night two we go. Alrighty, night two. And it's a little fallout from obviously our, our big first night. As uh, our main event. That's a good question. That Holy Demon Army, Kobashi... Kikuchi match is probably it, though. Could also go with that 8-man, though. That's a fun 8-man. Hmm, that's tough. That is super tough. I think we'll have this be the main. Yeah, Squad is going to be Kikuchi there. They haven't had a match in a hot minute, though. 
uh, Kobashi and Kikuchi. They had the match uh, for the or at the television taping, but before then, as far as when's the la the last time like they officially like faced off against each other was uh, during the tag league in '93. So that's you know, a hot minute. That still should be a, a pretty good little match up there. And the Cactus Jack, Terry Funk, Wild Pegs, this Dimalenko matchup against Hase, Sasaki, Ultimate Dragon, Super Astro. Dean's gonna beat Super Astro there. That's fun. Then the Crushers of Destruction against Super Generation Army, the six man tag, Masawa, Junak, Kiyama, and Tiger Mask 3 against Bam Bam, the uh, Johnny Ace and Chris Candida team, with Junak, Kiyama gonna beat Bam Bam Bigelow there. Which, uh, I should probably have to push this down to night three. <laughs> they keep on just having to. Push stuff back more and more. Taz and Joel Deaton against, um, or Taz and Terry Gordy rather against Joel Deaton and Trace Smothers. Taz getting the win in ten minutes. How fun! How fun! But I would love to see Tenkoji in a match. So we're gonna just put that together, Tenkoji. Now that at least uh, Tenzon's uh, in the recognizable side of things. Yeah, we can use Flash and Smash. I think we're going to use uh, Choshu and Kashinaka, though. We'll have Kojima beat Choshu, which is crazy. I'm driving out Choshu so much because I, I really like Ricky Choshu. It's just his performance is terrible, though. <laughs> he is not doing too hot, so it's just uh, the way it goes, unfortunately, there. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably about where that should be. Uh, see here. Let's see how um, Fuchi and Masato Tanaka can do as a team. I don't know if we've had them team yet before. Off the top of my head, I don't believe we have uh, as far as they'll take on Hozaka and Asako. Yeah, we're, we're good to go uh, there. But Fuchi's going to get the win. I don't think I'll give it to Masato. Uh, Masato Tanaka just yet. Don't think it's that time just yet. He, he still could use maybe a little bit of help there as far as performance-wise, being a little bit better. But a lot of tag stuff already. We'll uh, go with a singles matchup. As we'll have Timon Honda take on... Yeah, Sayama's fun. We'll have Sayama bounce back after he did pretty well on that first night. Get a win over Timon Honda. Well, see when that happens. Now I gotta double click it again. There we go. Yeah, we got it though. So that's a good, good little match for for what we're wanting it to be. The Steel the Show match is going to be interesting because I think we're just gonna make a, a match for it. Um, we'll go with a six man. People just book make this a little easier as um so Tenru could potentially as far as this could be a nice showcase for the revolution I have a uh, Shinichi Takano and then um Shunji Takano and they'll take on the team of oh, also we have Manabu Nakanishi is the fourth young lion yeah we'll just go Scott Norton. Brad Armstrong, or, uh, Brad Rannigan's and Brad Armstrong, I think. We'll have that be a team. Or Bill Anderson. Bill, yeah, we'll just, we'll use Bill, because I think we're going to give Tenryu's Evolution the win. So they'll have Tenryu beat Bill Anderson. That's night two. Not bad at all. I was a little nervous, because I, I just felt like I was hitting a bit of a creative block. When I was trying to th think of things to add to uh, in a you know pre-booking perspective, but it actually came together pretty well. So a lot of this stuff. How we doing? Okay, yeah, we're still good to go on that. Just gotta pick a venue. Yeah, it looks like it's Chubu. It is. is there, a, let's say, yeah, there's a four thousand five hundred recommend, or just this four thousand. Yeah, we'll do that. Fun. That'd be close to a sellout. Be about 500 shy. That's fun. That, that, that's super fun, now. There we go. Let's run the show. Simon so and Timon Honda have uh, 
You know, they don't, don't click. Here's an awkward battle. It's a 55. Could have been a lot worse. So, Sayama, that's not bad for having, like, bad chemistry and only getting a 56 on a tour show. That's, that's not bad at all. We will gladly take that. It's a 72 for, uh, oh, wow, they have excellent chemistry. Things just so happen to work out sometimes. When you can get something like that together, that's perfect. Holy Demon Army get another wrinkle of a team setting there with Masada Naka and Masum Fuchi. That's a great team to have. Veteran and a, a younger guy. And it's a heavyweight and junior team too, so that gives you a little bit of options there creatively. But Fuchi gets a win with the STF over Satoru Sako in 10 minutes. Yeah, Masada Naka, he still was, uh, you know, he's off his game, so there was that too, but he still was way behind um, Sako and Hozaka. It's a very good matchup. Very good matchup for sure. 77 here for the sixth man at Tenders Evolution against uh, Bill Anderson with Flash and Smash. Yeah, I mean, Scott Norton and Brad Rannigans, they were the second best for Scott Norton and fourth best for Brad Rannigans, but obviously this was all about Jenny Chudu Tenryu. Hell of a performance there uh, with a 90. Gets him with a folding power bomb in 12 11. Yeah, probably should have went a little lower there as Joshu and Kashinaka losing to Tenkoji. At least Tenzan did pretty well, but Kojima still got a little ways to go. But he gets the one with a Lariat over Choshu. 67 for Taz and Terry Gordy. This seems to be getting worse and worse. As uh, Terry Gordy with a 70, everybody else in the 50s there. Needs a little matchup. Taz with Kataja may over. Joel Dean, they did the same, so that's not bad. And 82 for the six man, the Crushers of Destruction and Super Generation Army. Is uh, Jun Akiyawa with the Blue Thunder Power Bomb, or the Blue Thunder Bomb rather? I don't know why it's the Power Bomb. Blue Thunder Bomb over Bam Bam. Bam Bam's ratings really because of his morale and everything, but it's cool to see that Jun Akiyama's doing very well for himself. Awesome. See an 85 here for the eight man of Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, Wild Pegasus, and Dean Malenko against Hase, Kinsuke Sasaki, Ultimate Dragon, Super Astro, Dean Malenko with the Clover Leaf. Ultimate Dragon, best guy in the match, followed by Dean, then Funk, then Hase. This flowed together really well. Super Astro was a little bit. Even then, you know, he was only two points below Kensuke. You see Cactus with a 79. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, 98. Jesus Christ. As Kawada taps out Kikuchi with the Kawada Crab. Holy Demon Army are incredible. What a match. What a show. My God. Good luck topping that. <laughs> that's, that's a really good main event. For a tour show on the night three we go. Alrighty, night three. As this is Bam Bam's last show. So I'll have him lose to Junakiyama finally on this night. And Terry Funk right in the backstage area. By simply being so fun and cheerful to be around. Love that tower. passing on psychology. Tips to Masato Tanaka. While I'm thinking about it. Let's make sure we add Fuchi and Tanaka as a team. While I'm here. So that's a note for Fuchi. Masato Tanaka. We'll go with individuals, I guess. And we'll just call them... Two. Yeah. It's not, not the best in the world, but as far as what we're uh, what we're doing, it just kind of makes sense. Forgot, yeah, Takeo Mori and the Manabu Nakanishi teamed up as Wild Child at one point. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, that works out. We could probably do one with Taowei and um, Fuchi as well, because they're, they're a fun little team, but that uh, that works for me. Yeah, we have Kawada here, as far as Kawada and Masato Tanaka with against Terry Gordy and Taz. That's, that's not bad. Main event's probably this, though. Stan Anson and uh, Dan Spivey against Masao and Kikuchi, as Masao is going to beat Dan Spivey. 20 minutes. Well... This could probably be the main, though, too, on that same breath as Tawei and uh, Black Tiger 2 against Kobashi and Junakiyama. It's Tawei beating Junakiyama. Yeah, but I just didn't realize. I'm like, well, now we, uh... We'll just have that be Tiger Mask 3, because I think that's going to flow well better anyways. What a, uh... What a shit show. Oh, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and... If this, I don't know what. I feel like it's just lagging. Oh, that's weird. Well, Tiger Mask 3, take the fall. Yeah. That's still a good main, though. Uh, that, or that's a good main and co-main. Could go either way, for sure. Kawada and Masato Tanaka against the Miracle Vines Alliance. Kawada's going to beat Terry Gordy there in 10 minutes. 
Bam Bam and Junakiyama. Junakiyama's going to beat him. 16-minute matchup there. Bam Bam will struggle a little bit there. Yeah, they should maybe have that go after Kawada. Taue and Black Tiger 2 against Kendo Kobashi and Junakiyama. It's Taue, of course. Oh, no, we just clicked on that. I'm an idiot. Uh, Giant Baba and Yuji Nagata. Rather, Jesus says uh, Nagata beating Giant Baba, of course, which we're just using this to help, obviously, elevate Yuji Nagata. Giant Baba's going to struggle. What else is new? So, we got five segments already. So, that's a good start. It's nice to have at least a little over the majority of the matches. But we could have... Let's see. Yeah, let's have Nakanishi. I was thinking about him. Have him have a match. Oh, yeah, we'll use... Yamasaki. Decent little young line matchup. We'll, we'll need to save, you know, whatever happens in this abomination. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. So we need to steal this from matchup. I know that much. So we'll think of, um... Think of a tag match here if we can't. Honestly, um, Damien and Vampiro against Ogawa and Fuchi is not terrible, but we might go with the Fantastics, actually. I think that might be the better option. Yeah, but so the one and one uh, they had the match at the Chamber Carnival, and of course they had the TV match. We'll probably have um, Damien and Vampiro get a win here. So Vampiro getting the win. Steal the show matchup, which... Should be okay. I don't think it's going to blow the roof off the place or anything. It should be fine. And I think really we have the undercard set. We just kind of need a better match that follow Bam Bam and Giacchiamo. So we'll go with another tag. We'll go, um... Yeah, we'll go Can-Am Express versus the Headhunters. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Yeah, they had the October Giant Series match, and that was it. And then the um, Best of Junior Finals uh, for the All Asia Tag Team Titles. We'll give the Canadian Express a win. Is Doug Burnus going to get the win for the Canadian Express? It should be a, a pretty decent little show. I think it, all things considered. We're about half capacity for the Hiroshima Sun Plaza. A little better for the Nakajima Sports Center. That's nice to see. Yeah, well, we might just go with the Wakayama Perfectual Gym. Probably, you know, for the best. There, and we'll run the show. 44 for the opener. Yep, Yuji Nagata almost with a 50. Inverted figure 4 for Yuji Nagata in 10-20. Jambaba just, you know, being tired in a 10-minute matchup. Yamasaki beating Manabu Nakanishi in 9-32. Not bad at all. 64 again. Or 64 here, rather, for the Fantastics against Vampiro and Damien. Wrong team won. That's all right, though. Could have won either way, honestly. Vampiro being off his game kind of hurt it a little bit. Because he would have at least... Probably, he would have been probably the best guy in the match, if I had to guess. Had that been the case. But the 76 for Kawada and Masato Tanaka, as uh, they beat Terry Gordy and Taz, as the Kawada driver from Toshaka Kawada with Terry Gordy. Wrist Clutch Fisherman... A uh, wrist clutch exploder, rather. About to say the wrist clutch fisherman suplex, but um, wrist clutch exploder from Junakiyama over Crusher Bam Bam. Yeah, they have a great chemistry, so that's fun to see. But we're just helping out because I think Junakiyama is like ten points below him as far as popularity goes. We're just trying to give a win to Junakiyama the best we can for Bam Bam leaves us. The Headhunters against the Kingdom Express, one point difference. That is nuts. As Doug Furness with the Frankensteiner over Headhunter B. It's crazy. Dan Crawford did better than Doug Furness. 79 for uh, Stan Hansen and Dan Spivey against Tsuyoshi Kikuchi and Masawa. Again, well, only a point difference. This is very, very close, but the Emerald Flosion from Masawa in 20 minutes. That's 75, oof, for this matchup, our main event. It's a good match, though, but it's just uh, it wasn't at that level. Everything else, Taue kind of shit the bed a little bit for what we were expecting. But, it, I mean, it's a tour show. It's not the end of the world. We all can't have a 98-tour main event like we had on the previous night. And yeah, on to night four we go. Alrighty, night four. As, oh, I forgot to change... Yeah, I forgot to change that. We will 
I have to do that here. Oh, it's a lesser show at least, but yeah, we'll just make it a tour show. Yeah, we just won't broadcast it, because that is going to be a shit show to deal with. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Um, yeah. Completely okay with that. Oh, perfect. Uh, Starlings. Uh, yeah, Holy Demon Army, Super Generation Army. I believe this is a six-man, yes. This is Kawada, Tawei, and Fuchi against Masawa Kawashi and Kikuchi. This match has been done only a handful of times, weirdly enough, but it really was, I mean, to think it's been there since basically the beginning, when it was back when it was Saruta Gun and Super Generation Army as the main story, but then obviously transitioning now to the uh, Holy Demon Army side, which they've only had, as far as from the Holy Demon Army side of things, only one match, it looks like, and that was a draw. That was at the Super Power Series Night 3 two years ago. But uh, Kikuchi's going to beat Fuchi there. That's a that's a big win. Big win for sure. Six man, uh, Nuki Sano with Wild Pegasus and Demon Link. against going to Hayabusa, Ultimate Dragon, Super Astro. Love this match. Hayabusa is going to beat Wild Pegasus in 20 minutes. And Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, jo Joel Deaton, and Tracy Smothers against the Fighting World Choshu. As Shirakashi Naka is going to beat Joel Deaton. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. I guess it's Satoru Saka and Hideki Ozaka against Damien and Vampiro. As uh, Vampiro going to be beating Satoru Saka and Hideki Ozaka there. Nice little win. I mean, we're really building them up. Giving them a lot of wins. Over a lot of junior guys, that's for sure. Let's see. I think yeah, we're going to go with Teokia now. With him against... I was thinking maybe Too Cold, maybe Azuka, maybe Sayama even, Scott Norton's there, Nakano. Funaki's not a bad call either, yeah, we'll go with Funaki. Funaki gonna get the win. Good stuff there. Oh, uh, so yeah, we'll probably have, as far as a tag... We'll go with um, Minoru Tanaka and uh, Shinjiro Otani. Taken on. I'm trying to think of a good junior team. Um, that's tough. Tough for. Let's take a look. Here we go, Firecat and Jinzei Shinzaki. That's a fair little matchup. That's right, they don't have any chemistry. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, Brad Armstrong and Eddie Gilbert, then. I think they have... That's, um, that's right, he's got bruised pectoral muscle. Is Eddie Gilbert. I think that happened during an ECW show. So will that Brad Armstrong get a win over Jinsei Shinzaki? So yeah, uh, we'll need a Steal the Show matchup, and then one more, and we'll be good to go for this night as well. Go to the six man. We will uh, go with... I think I'll go with Chono Mudo, and then I'll go with Fujinami. Then uh, the Burst Combat Club. With... I'm trying to think of what's a good junior for them to use. Where it makes sense. I think that was Minoru Tanaka, to be honest. Might just have to do that. Because I think Wellington Wilkins Jr. is just a little too... Oh, no, he is. Yeah, we'll just use Wellington Wilkins Jr. then. Really sh throwing shit at the wall here and hoping it sticks. It's Chono. Getting the win. Wellington Wilkins Jr. Nice. 20 minutes is probably a little too long, but still should be a, f a final match. Hopefully. Go with another singles match. 
Let's, uh, let's go L Samurai and I think a Candido. We might use uh, either Ishimura, or Nishimura rather, or uh, Kyoshidamura. Either way, it's a banger. Just want to make sure I'll summarize over enough. Yeah. Kyoshi Tomura is very, very close, though. He's, he's recognizable, so that's nice to see. Kyoshi Tomura getting the win. Nope. Oh. Keeps on fucking happening. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Alrighty. Night, night four. Yeah, we got that venue picked. Let's run the shelf. 59 for the opener as Shinichi Funaki beating Teokia with the Ishan capture 934. Good little matchup there. 63 for Elsa Samurai and Kyoshi Demore. They don't click. Unfortunate there. And Kyoshi Demore's injury really plays a big factor into that. 70 for Fire Gun Jinsei Shinzaki against Eddie Gilbert and Brad Armstrong. Brad Armstrong doing the heavy lifting in this one as he gets one with the side rush and leg sweep. In uh, 10.29, uh, 65 for Sotoro uh, Osaka and Hideki Osaka against Vampiro and Damien. Better team there. Right decision. 76, uh, Terry Funk, Gakus Jack, Joel Deaton, Tracy's Brothers against the Fighting World. Choshu is Shirakashinaka tapping out. Joel Deaton, poor Joel Deaton just keeps on losing. The poor guy. He was the worst guy in the match, though, to be fair. 77 for Fujinami with Kaiji Muto, Masahiro Chona against Steven Rigo, Norman Smiley, and Wellington Wilkins Jr., as the Deathlock STF from Chono on Wellington Wilkins Jr. Uh, 84 for the six man of Hayabusa, Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro against, against Nuki Sano. Peg oh, Wild Pegasus and Demon Link goes Wild Pegasus getting pinned with a Falcon Arrow by Hayabusa. The Ultimo Dragon with a 90, 84 for Hayabusa and Demon Link. That's a good, good match. Solid match. 92 for the main. It's Kikuchi pinning Fuchi in 20 minutes as Kobashi Masawa with 95s and 94s. Quasi 85 and Taue. I don't know what's going on with Kira Taue. I don't know if it's a morale thing. Just hold back. Huh. Yeah, because he's kind of been shit. For what he's used to doing. The even shows so are where it's at, it seems like. So on to night five we go. Alright, night five. And so we got a backstage incident. It is Taue and Masato Tanaka again as he's using t or passing on tips on psychology to Masato Tanaka. Our four matches we have, pretty solid stuff. Super Generation Army, Holy Demon Army. I believe this is the eight man. Yes, it is. Kawada getting the win for the Holy Demon Army. Not really sure who he's going to pin. I'm just going to let the game decide, to be honest there. Oh, yeah, then uh, Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, and the Gladiator Titans. Against the Fighting World Choshu, Hiroshi Ase going to be Cactus Jack. Yeah, that just, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on the money there. And then, uh... Kaishimuto with Masahiro Chono and Satoru Sayama taking on the British Combat Club. Is Johnny Smith going to beat Satoru Sayama there? That could be better, too. I guess this could be the co-main. I'm cool with that. Then we have uh, Tenryu and Kunaki Kobayashi taking on Shinya Shimoda and Tatsumi Fujinami. As Tenryu, his contract's up, and he still hates us, as in Giant Baba, so he's not going to resign. It's another guy that's leaving. Tenryu's an interesting one because he obviously is very talented. The problem is... Really, I think at 45, it's um, he, he definitely is like a, a much you know respected veteran of the roster, and obviously a fucking legend. But I don't think for what we're doing right now, I don't think he's really a necessity. So we we did luck out there, but it is going to suck not having him. But Shinyashimoto is going to get the win there. Stinru is unhappy. It's fine by me. We actually might bump that up as well. Yeah, I think that's fair. So we definitely have our top. Of the card matches. We just need to really add the ender card now. Let's, uh... Let's get Teo Kia out there. See who he can take on. Where it could help somebody. Funaki's a good call. Yeah, we'll do that. Funaki and Teo Kia. Funaki getting the win. Nice. We'll probably do another one. Uh, with this time it'd be Kintor Shiga. And we'll have it be Minoru Tanaka. Nice. 
Obviously, even though I talked, that's going to get the win. And then we're going to have uh, Shinjiro Tani beat somebody. If we're just going to put all the tactical tactician squad in singles matches for this undercard. We need him to be, like, recognizable or well-known, so. Probably not well-known. Probably recognizable is fine, though. Dory Funk Jr. would be a great win for him. Uh, you know, Mitsuya Mamoto's not a bad idea. I forgot to plug in my headphones again, because for some reason, I'm not really sure what it is. It's definitely something to do with this uh, new mouse, but sometimes, like, just, um... My computer would just, like, kind of, like, do, like, a notification, like, something's going on. But, like, I won't see anything. It's very strange. It's Aoagi. We'll have Aoagi lose to him. I think that's a good call. Otani's gonna do very, very well here. I think he'll do about the same as Aoagi. He might even outperform him. He is upset, though, that he's losing. That's kind of saw that one coming. We just need a Steal the Show matchup. We'll go with a tag. So we got Flash and Smash. We can always use. I always love that Brad Armstrong, Eddie Gilbert, like, junior team. I think that's what we're going to do. Brad Armstrong, Eddie Gilbert versus uh, Vampiro and Damien because they've been getting wins left and right this tour. I think someone needs to kind of put a stop to that. Just want to, about to say, I don't think this has uh, happened before. And it has not. We'll have Brad Armstrong beat Damien. And that is night five in the books, just like that. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Oh, yeah. I forgot to make it a steal the show match. Yep. Wrong one. Perfect. Nice. Should be a pretty good show. As far as the venue, I think we will run that Nakajima Sports Center now. See what we get. 54 for the opener. Minoru Tanaka beating Kandora Sheik with the Minoru Special. It's a 1030 there. And, uh, yeah, that's a decent little matchup. Could have been worse. Yeah, I mean, Otani's still a ways away from uh, beating as far as in-ring performance wise of Masashi Aoyagi, but Aoyagi did, did well, though. We definitely need to give him a win again to kind of counteract what just happened. And then Funaki beating Teo Kia with a Rising Sun in 946 to 72. Gilbert and Brad Armstrong against Vampiro and Damien. Right decision there for sure. And I got the crowd buzzing too for that being a steal the show matchup. 74 for the eight man of Terry Funk, Cactus Shack, and the Gladiator Titans against the Fighting World of Choshu. Tase pinning Cactus Shack with the Northern Light Suplex. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Hase though, the injury, he was off his game. It's not looking good for him. At 85 here for uh, Shin Yashimoto and Tatsumi Fujigami against Jinichiru Tenru and Kunaki Kobayashi. Some fucking legends there. I mean, that's a, a legendary tag match. Vertical drop brain buster, though, from Hashimoto in 20 minutes. You'll love to see that. Got the crowd hotter. And an 88 for the co-main. A six-man tag is Death Valley Bomb from Johnny Smith there over Satoru Sayama, which, again, British Combat Club are quite the stable. Uh, they are just rolling away with some wins. And then Junakiyama with some chronic upper back pain that fucks over this matchup. Kawada gets the one with the Kawada driver in 20 minutes. Okawa with a 69, Junakiyama with a 67. It's not good, you know, as far as I think that's probably going to be Okawa's cap. I don't think it's going to be any higher or anything. Kind of mid to high 60s, low 70s is kind of his cap. Sucks that that brought down the, the entire card, and it's Fuchi who caused it. So thanks a lot, Master Fuchi. Because we were really rolling there until the main event. Yeah, and then uh, now we're on to night six, and then we'll be at the halfway point after night six. To uh, the end of the tour. So that's uh, we're already there. Already halfway there. I feel like we're just zooming on by. Alrighty. Night 6. As, uh, as far as... Oh, we have it backstage. About, oh, we got a couple of them. Taz and Stan Anson. As Taz was accused of forgetting to shake another worker's hand. When entering the rock room. As Judge Stan Anson found them guilty and sentenced to buy drinks for them after the show. And then D. Malenko ends up at Overall Samurai. Coo. Coo, coo, coo. Good to know. Main event, probably this. This is massive. Eight-man tag. We got the challengers versus the champions. As uh, Kaiji Muto beating Ultimo Dragon in 20 minutes. That's a fun-ass eight-man, though. And Hashimoto and Fujinami against Masao and Tiger Mask 3. 
Dragon Master 3 getting the win over Fujinami there. And Junakiyama, Seoshi Kikuchi against the Holy Demon Army number 2 team. as Fuchi beating Kikuchi because I want to get this team really rocking and rolling. Probably shouldn't get the win here because that's definitely the better team there on the left. But they don't have good chemistry though. That is a thing that's working against them. Huh. Wow. He's really that upset. I mean, yeah, they are, like, really, really similar, and... I don't know, Kikuchi, you just gotta... Not be such a prick. Well, that worked out for us, though. Alright, so we have two Steel the Show matches, so we gotta at least change one of them. Tuko Scorpio is gonna be Satoru Zako. We'll, uh, take that off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta make sure that's not going all out, either. Okay. So, a little half and half there. Don't love it, don't hate it, you know, as far as having, um, th th as far as what we have pre-booked already. Would love to see maybe, like, a Miracle Vines connection against, or even Doc and Taz against Kawada and Ogawa. As, uh, well, I hope that would be Taz. This shouldn't go too terrible. It shouldn't be, uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be better. That's a problem, though. I don't know if it's gonna be better than that Masawa Tiger Mask 3 Hashimoto Fujinami match. We'll put it right below it. It's about the same. Fujinami's just a little bit better than Taz, I feel like. Yeah, we'll um, see here as far as yeah, the Mon Honda. Yeah, this is where we'll use Ayagi to get that win back. Perfect. Ayagi getting the win. No problem at all. Probably open up the show too, so that works out there. Um, let's see, tag teams. Yeah, I think we're gonna go Tenzan and Kojima Tenkoji against uh, Mitsuya Mamoto and uh, Masao Inoue. It's not gonna be the best match in the world, but this is just to give Kojima a win over Mitsuya Mamoto. That is the plan. There. Um, we might keep that as the opener, to be honest. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just bump it. It's no big deal. And our final match that we have to add, I think it's going to be another single. Nah, nah, let's go tag. Let's go tag. Let's go Fire Cat and Jinsei. Yeah, Fire Cat and Jinsei versus... Let's see. Yeah, let's go Deet and Smothers. Let me make sure Firecat's actually recognizable. Thank Christ. First time meeting. Hopefully this does enough here, though. This is going to be a win for Smothers and Deaton. As well, Deaton beat Jinsei Shinzaki. And that's night six in the books. Mm, yeah, we'll have it go after it. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Yeah, we'll run the, um... Yeah, let's say we can run either the Sendai Sun Plaza or the Dreamies. Probably the Sendai Sun Plaza. Alrighty. 57 for the opener. Iwaki getting the win over Timon Honda in 947. 57 again for Mitsuya Mamoto and Masano against Tenkoji. Reverse pile driver there from Kojima, 9.32. Yep, he outperformed Mitsuya Mamoto, Masano. He's a right decision there. Both teams, they have a team with excellent chemistry and a team with great chemistry. Um, Fire Cap with a 61, though. He's the best guy in the match, but Smothers and Deaton, the better team, I would say, as a whole. And uh, Deaton gets them with the Bulldog over Jensei Shinzaki. 63 again. Yep, Junakami Seoshikuchi, not, not a great team. Also, you know, the injury taking a big toll, but Masato Fuchi and uh, Masato Tanaka. 
did pretty well. Uh, you know, Masato was not going to outperform Jun Akiyama because of the injury and the, uh, you know, the negative chemistry. But Fuchi with the STF, obviously Yoshi Kikuchi, Taz and Dr. Death against Yoshinari Agawa and Toshi Kawada. Fun little matchup there. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's kind of close. Probably should have went to the Holy Demon side, but... And it did, so you know, there, there is that. But uh, Ogawa pinning Taz in 20 minutes. So that was an 82. 86 for Masao in Tiger Mask 3 against Shin Yashimoto and Tatsumi Fujinami. This Tiger Mask 3 with the Koji Clutch in 20 minutes. And a main event is also an 86 as Ultima Dragon gets tapped out to the Muda Lock. As uh, that's the finish in 20 minutes. Kaiji Muda, best guy in the match. Oh no, uh, Ultima Dragon is rather. Excuse me. As Ultima Dragon, then Dean, then Regal, Smiley, then Kaiji Muda. Chono's out of the 80s, and Wild Pegasus and Super Astro were on the outside looking in as well. Nice show, and yeah? I mean, a lot of filler for the first, like, five minutes, or five matches, which is fine. You know, we have a pretty decent-sized tour. That's going to happen sometimes. Totally okay with it. And uh, on to Night 7 we go. Alrighty, Night 7. As uh, no backstage instance or anything, so we can just get right into it. This is, you know, a fun little match. Obviously, our... Heavyweight champion and our heavyweight champion taking on or our heavyweight champion, our junior heavyweight champion, rather. Excuse me, as far as it makes no sense, heavyweight and heavyweight champion. But um, Nuki Sano and Akira Tawai teaming up the challengers, taking on the champions. Fun match. Kendokobashi is going to beat Nuki Sano. I love doing shit like that. Though. That's such a fun little match to have. And then the tactical technician squad against Damien and Vampiro. Steal the show matchup. Manor Tanaka is going to beat Damien. Makes sense. Eddie Gilbert and uh, Brad Armstrong against Kyoshi Tamura and Osamu Nishimura. Fun little junior tag match again. And then Tinder's Revolution against Yamasaki and Tenkoji. Is Satoshi Kojima going to beat Shinichi Nakano? 20 minutes is way too long for this match. I know that much. So we'll bump that down to 10 as uh, Shinichi Nakano is going to lose there. But probably should have like 10. I don't think we we're going to have Tenzan Kojima just flat out beat Tinder. That would have been a little too crazy. Because uh, uh, we always plan on trying to use him and help elevate him, or help elevate some talent with his departure. Because that would probably piss him off to where he just <laughs> he just leaves. So just up and leave. Uh, we'll have a singles matchup. Let's see, we've used, uh, I think Kato Shiga is now the next man. Or oh, actually, Manabu Nakanishi probably is. Yes, hasn't been used in about a week. Recognizable. So we got Tenzan. We got Yamasaki. Got Iwagi. It's Yamamoto. Uh, we might just stick with uh, like Azuka or Sasuke. We'll go with Azuka. I'd say we they've done this in New Japan a lot. We just did it at the October Giant series. Yeah, because when I was not gonna, she, he's not a young line anymore, so there is that. But and he's twenty eight. But um, I just see you know, Zook is gonna be way better, so it just it makes sense anyways to at least keep it a ten minute matchup. So we've done really the undercard. We nailed that undercard set. Now we gotta work on other shit, you know, as far as uh, what we can do. Um, you know, honestly, I think a. I think a Stan Hansen, Dan Spivey matchup with Masawa and Kikuchi could be fun. Sushi. Kikuchi. 20 minutes to have Dan Hansen beat Kikuchi. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and then, I would like to maybe see as far as... It sucks that Takeo Mori is here, because this would make this a whole lot easier. Yeah, we probably won't have to do that, because there's none of people left in the Super Generation Army to do that match. So, we'll think of something else. Let's go with a six-man... Let's go Funk and Cactus with Big Titan this time against the six-man team of Cho Shu, uh, Roshiase, and Gensuke Sasaki. 
Well, I've chose you beat Cactus. We need Ricky Choshu to get a win. He needs it. He needs it very badly. Wow, Cactus not even upset. What a pop. McFoley's the best as, uh, yeah, we have our final match here. We'll probably go with a Fuchi Masato Tanaka versus... Yeah, we'll go with Taz and Gordy again, I think. Because, yeah, we did this. Oh, no, we didn't do this. I thought we, we had. Maybe I, I, I pre-booked it for a later date. But nonetheless, though, uh, we'll have Fuchi beat Taz this first go-around. Sick. Yeah, it's a decent little matchup. We've got a lot of tags on this card. Which makes sense, since this is a tour show. That tends to be the plan. And then we run the Hiroshima Sun Plaza. Run the show. So 62 for the opener. Azuka with a 63. Gets a win with a blockbuster hold in 1019. 73 for Tenryu's Revolution against Kazuyo, Kazuyo Yamasaki. Again, uh, and Tenkoji as Satoshi Kojima pinning Shinichi Nakano with a set out spine buster. Tenryu with a 79. Yeah, I mean, he's probably a little pissed. And it's affected his ratings. But everybody else does, you know, about the same Kojima. A little off, though. It's really off, actually. 69 here for Brad Armstrong and Eddie Gobert against Kyoshi Damar and Osama Nishimura. Nice. As Brad Armstrong and Eddie Gobert. Fun little team again. There, 73, 60. Not bad at all. Side Russian leg sweep for Brad Armstrong. There are 68 for this junior tag match. Vampiro with a 65. 62 is for Funaki and Minoru Tanaka. And a 60 for Damian. 450 splash for Minoru Tanaka. Very much enjoyed. That's 75 for the Holy Demon Army team. And Terry Gordy and Taz is Masu Fuchi with the STF over Terry Gordy. Masu Fuchi with an 81. That's crazy. They were the better team for sure. For sure an 80 for Big Titan with Terry Funk, Cactus Jack against Ricky Choshu, Kinsuke, Sasaki, and Roshi Hase of the Fighting World Choshu. As uh, Choshu with a Sasori Katame over Cactus Jack, which, yeah, I mean, he was like 20 points less than him. <laughs> it's not good. Not good at all. 82 for Dan Sp Bobby being Stan Hansen against C.S. Kikuchi and Mitsurama Sawa. Only, uh, well, I mean, five point difference for Hansen and Spivey. Not bad at all. Lariat from Stan Hansen over, over Kikuchi, and then 83 for Hayabusa and Kenta Kobashi against Akira Tawe and Yuki Sano. Hopefully, Tawe has a banger in that final, uh, on the final show, because, uh, it's not looking so hot here. I know they're gonna have the chemistry boost, so that should work out, but the Burning Hammer from Kobashi in 20 minutes. An absolute banger there, yeah. That was a good performance from Kobashi. And not a bad little show. Not a bad little show. Now on to night eight we go. Alrighty, night eight. As uh, So we have a fun little show set up there. We're going to have our four pre-show, our pre-show, pre-booked stuff. We're going to have Ultima Dragon taking on Wild Pegasus. And of course, Steve Malenko taking on Super Astro. Then we're also going to have Master Chono taking on Steven Regal and Norman taking on Kaiji Mudo. So that's... Uh, it's going to be huge. We, uh, oh, look, they already got us in a, a nice little venue. So the main event will probably be Norman and Gaiji Mudo. If I had to guess, yeah, that, that seems like a banger. Norman beats Gaiji Mudo. You'll love to see it. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. Then probably Ultimo Dragon Wild Pegasus. Ultimate Dragon getting the win in 20 minutes. Then Chono and Regal, and then while well, Bean and Super Astro. For that's Chono getting the win in 24 minutes. And Dean Malenko and uh, Super Astro is going to be a 30 minute time limit draw. So interesting enough, we're not going to split it one and one. It's going to be a time limit draw and uh, a win for Ultimate Dragon. So I just felt like that was a nice little change of pace. I don't know how well that card's going to do as far as how uh, like a, a crowd would receive that as far as. Um, if that would be something they were into or not. Let's see if we need to put anybody over here that's still in the unimportant section. Kojima, I guess. Yeah. That seems to be the plan. Doji Kojima. Can I beat Dory Fung Jr.? Yeah, because it's 1996. I think it's time for Dory to hang it up.
Now we just, we definitely gotta do like the rest of the cards beat tag matches or something. Because we have so many singles matches on this card. First of all, let's exclude people that are booked. Headhunters. Against... Yeah, we'll go Hanson Spivey. It's a fun match. They, uh... about to say, they missed out on wrestling each other during the tag league. Yeah, Hanson Spivey needs to get a win back anyways against them, so it's perfect. We'll have Spivey get a win, too. Hell yeah. Good shit. All right, now we need to steal the show match, and then probably a young... Yeah, we'll probably do two young lines as far as teaming them up, see how they do. We might go with Shigen to Mon Honda. Not a bad idea. In the team. Yeah, Flash and Smash. Or, yeah, actually, Ricky Choshu and Kashinaka is probably the better option there is... We'll have Choshu beat Honda. Sick. Which will then meet our Steal the Show matchup will be this tag. Which I think now we'll use the Flash and Smash team. They'll take on the Can-Am Express. Hopefully that's a, a fun little match. Gaijin Violence. What that is. Not bad at all. Yeah, pretty simple, you know, night day for night eight. We will have to change the uh, the time though. Figure that might have been a problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and change it. Just go ahead and make it a two thirty show. Beautiful. Beautiful. All righty. Sixty for the opener. Kashinaka Riki Joshu, of course, for the better team. They better have been. <laughs> they fucking better have been. 53 for Satoshi Kojima and Dory Funk Jr. Yeah, Dory Funk Jr. Over the hill. Time to start jobbing him out. As he gets a 53 that match. It's Dan Crawford and Doug Furness, the Canada Express, beating Flash and Smash. Cobra Clutch from Dan Crawford on Scott Norton. 82 for Anson Spivey against the Headhunters. Dan Spivey, the Spivey Spike. He got out before, and he was the worst guy in the match. But he needed a win. 89 for Dean and Super Astro, the time limit draw. Just putting both guys over there. It's really the idea, and doing something a little different. Chono with the Yakuza kick. Only a point difference. Wasn't too bad. I figured he, gonna, he was going to be outperformed, but I thought it was going to be a lot worse than just one point. Ultimo Dragon, Wild Pegasus, is another 83. They have good chemistry. And uh, Dragon Sleeper from Ultimo Dragon in 20 minutes. 94 for Norman Smiley and Kaiji Muto. Great chemistry between those two. Unreal match there as uh, Norman gets the win with the Norman Conquest 21 31. Fuck yeah, what a show. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's like a banger main event. Like a singles main event like that. But obviously, that's very much a outlier of what normally happens on tour shows. And I try to you know keep it as real as I can. But. That just made sense from the story perspective of that show having the two tag title matches, or well, two of the three tag title matches have singles matches against the opponents. But uh, yeah, now we just have uh, nights 9, 10, 11, and 12. So just have four tour shows left. Alrighty, night 9. As uh, we do have backstage incident for this, a couple of them. But this is where we're going to have the Cactus Jack Terry Funk versus Hase and Kinsuke Sasaki singles matches. And yeah, one of the um, uh, announcers that we got from New Japan... For Otachi, as he was in fine form before the show, kept everyone in a great mood with his layers, road stories, created a relaxed and happy atmosphere. Johnny's wants to put up a Black Tiger too. Well, that is perfect. We need Eddie to be losing some people, so that will work out. Perfect. Uh, so our main events, probably this Terry Funk Hiroshi Hase match, if I had to guess. Never had a singles match before, so we'll see how they go as far as if there's going to be bad chemistry or anything. But Terry Funk's going to beat him, which I think everyone knows. <laughs> Kensuke's beating Cactus Jack. The Miracle Vines Alliance. This is Hanson Spivey and the Blonde Crushers. Eight-man tag. I don't think this will be before the co-main, but Candy is going to be Taz and 20. That's... Oh, my God. That's the fucking worst. It's so... Oh, it's so annoying dealing with this. Let's see. Who will replace Dan Spivey here? 
Um, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. I was thinking there'd be just an easy Kaijin option I'm missing, but I don't... Yeah, I mean, just don't see it. Not seen. I mean, Scott Norton maybe, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. But well, I th I mean, a Scott Norton, Dan Spivey team, or Scott, rather, Scott Norton, Stan Anson team would be pretty sick. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's gonna be fucked now. But uh, Shin Hashimoto and uh, Nuki Sano against Masao and Hayabusa, a great match here. Gonna be another time limit draw. Uh, yeah, we'll bump that up to thirty. And yeah, uh, I think that was. An interesting decision. I think that's a pretty fair one, to be honest. Because that should be a banger. Should be an absolute banger. Alrighty. Yeah, I think we're back to Nakanishi again. Yeah, we'll have Brad Rannigans. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just glad nobody's gotten seriously hurt. Now that I say that, though, I bet someone's going to get hurt now this tour. <laughs> I know it. Someone's going to get seriously hurt, and I'm just going to put my fist through the monitor. And that'll be the end of that. <laughs> uh, Damien and Vampiro. Yeah, fantastic. So that's always a nice little... That's the thing. Our junior tag division is so deep, it seems like, that it, it just keeps on getting better and better. I love the Fantastics going to win this time. They probably should have beat him the last time out anyways, but Bobby's going to beat Damien. I love that be the steal the show match too while I'm thinking about it. Nice, nice, nice. So go with a six man. Let's have the Tactical Tactician Squad take on probably the Revolution, uh, Tinder's Revolution. So we'll go with... Um, I always forget that we don't have Takano Nagano as an actual team in this one. Shinichi Nakano. And then uh, Kunaki Kobayashi. So we'll go Tactical Tactician Squad. And Otani. So we're going to have Shinjiro Otani beat Nakano. Here's... Oh. <laughs> there we go. I think that's probably for the best. I thought about maybe Kunaki Kobayashi having him beat him. But I think that might be a little too steep. Let's just kind of... Because, I mean, he might be a little, oh, the 50s. Yeah, Otani's still, like, in the 30s. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll give it Otani. Otani over Nakano. This will be a big year for Shinjiro Otani. 1996, just got a feeling this is going to be his year. And our final matchup. Go with a tag. I, you know, I, again, the, the Brad Armstrong and Eddie Gilbert team. It's a fun little team. Fun little team. Let's see if, um, I'm trying to think what would be a nice little junior team for them to face. If there is any, really, it's just Firecat and Jinsei Shinzaki or... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, let's actually go with the singles. Let's go Dory Funk Jr. over, um... Let's have Eugene Nagata beat him. Eugene! Fucking Blue Justice. Have we done this before? Not in a singles match. Fuck yeah. Eugene Nagata with a win. Bada bing. Bada boom. One minute. Uh, let's just... Take off an extra minute here. That would be a 19-minute match. Make sure this is good. Yep. And that is night night in the books. Let's run it. I forgot to pick a fucking venue. Yuji Nagata outperforms Dory Funk Jr. though, to really no surprise, because Dory Funk Jr. is pretty trash now, as Manabu Nakanishi losing the Brad Arms or Brad Armstrong, Brad Rannigans. Bridging Cradle Suplex save from Rannigans. 63 from the Tactical Tactician Squad versus Sinru's Revolution. Which, those guys are going to be shit out of luck <laughs> when when that falls through. As Otani pinning Shinichi Nakano with a springboard dropkick. 68 for the Fantastics against Damien of Vampiro. As Bobby Fulton pinning Damien with a fantastic flip. Yep, right decision. For sure, 70. There's a blown eardrum for Stan Hansen. That's great. Just great. Candida, though, with the blonde bombshell over Taz. 
Nobody caused it, though. Uh, Kensuke Sasaki outperforming Cactus Jack. Stranglehold Gama there. 2023. Yeah, Kensuke to the moon. That's playing. Oh, that clicked really fast. Pretty sure that was an 82. That we just missed that on. I think. As the time limit draw for Shin Yashimoto and Yuki Sano. Against Mitsuru Masawa in Hayabusa. As uh, 84 for Masawa. 81 for Hashimoto. 79 for Hayabusa. And then 72 for Yuki Sano. Uh, 76 main event. That kind of stunk. Great re great heat and good wrestling just wasn't enough. Just funk with the pile driver. They did the same though. Could have went either way. Or uh, oh no, I was I don't know why I thought it was another match. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. As uh, night nine though, pretty solid show. Again, the even number shows just seem to be on on point for the tour so far. Now we're in the double digits, and uh, hopefully again nobody gets fucking hurt. Alrighty, night ten. Backstage incident. So again, it's that way. That's like a microphone work to Masato Tanaka. Jesus Murphy. So we have five matches uh, pre-booked for the rest of these shows. That's nice. Main event is a tough one. Um, oh. Honestly, probably this Tenru Gladiator match was Mike Awesome's going to beat him. Yeah, saw that one coming. Hanson and Johnny Ace against Kikuchi and Tiger Mask 3. Johnny Ace is going to beat Seoshi Kikuchi there. That's 20 minutes. Yeah, they're probably... Yeah, um, yeah, probably Terry Funk, Cactus Jack, Tracy Smothers against the Fighting World of Cho Shield. Tracy Smothers going to beat Shira Kashinaka. That's a big win for Tracy Smothers and Terry Gordy and Taz against Fuchi and Masato Tanaka. Taz is going to beat Masato Tanaka. So yes, this is a return match. Which the Holy Demon Army, they were much better than the Terry Gordy Taz team last time around. We'll see how they do here. Then Brad Armstrong is going to beat O'Hara in 10 minutes. We barely have used O'Hara, so just wanted to... Kind of fill, fill a spot there, mainly. Uh, we're going to have Hiro Saito lose to Yuji Nagata. Yeah, we're still pumping away there. Actually, let's use Otani. Here's Otani. Perfect. And then for our seventh match, we'll have an actual established guy beats Young Lion matchup. So we'll do another singles. Yeah, well, it was Teokia. Man, yeah, two cold Scorpio. Why not? Been on this before? No, nope. first time meeting. That's always fun. Scorpio gonna get the win, obviously. Nice. Alrighty, so then our um, another undercard match we'll probably go with a tag. We'll probably go. Uh, the Headhunters is a good call. Can-Am Express is always a good call. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, I think the Headhunters... Headhunters Tenkoji is a, a decent little matchup. Gives them an opportunity to face some talented dudes, but... They're gonna lose, you know, in the end here, but... You know, it's still nice for them to, you know, as far as... They fought them last year, at the end of the month, at, during the tag leagues of having... Russell again. Headhunter B is gonna get the win, and... That is... Night 10. We went uh, pretty heavy on really showcasing guys that are not going to be on that final show. Mainly because if somebody gets hurt now, that will really be a kick in the balls. Yeah, because that will suck. Yeah, I guess for the Hakata Starlanes again here. For Night 10. Two Cold Scorpio beating Teokia. Scorpio Splash in 10 minutes. 62 for Hiro Saito and Shinjiro Otani. Cobra Clutch from Otani. In 940-74 for Headhunters against Toji Kojima and Hiroshi Tenzan. Headhunters, excellent chemistry there. You'll love to see that diving leg drop from the Headhunters. Picking up the win. 72 from Brad Armstrong and, and O'Hara as side rush and leg sweep from Brad Armstrong. 75 from Masa Fuchi and Masato Tanaka. Yep, much better team there. Probably should have got the win, but Taz with the Kata Hajime over Masato Tanaka in 10 minutes. 82 for the six-man of Tracy Smothers, Terry Funk, and Cactus Jack. Fun little six-man team there. And against Shira Kashinaka, Kids Case, Sasaki, and Roshi Ase. Wrong team wins, but we're trying to build up Tracy Smothers any more than anything there. He was really off his game, so he probably could have outperformed Shira Kashinaka potentially. And 82 for the Stan Anson, Johnny Ace, Yoshi Kikuchi, Tiger Mask 3 matchup. 
pretty good stuff. Tiger Mask 3, you know, Koji Kenamoto, second best guy in this match. That's, that's really impressive. Johnny Ace with the Ace Crusher, though, he beats the worst guy in the match in Seo Shikuchi, so that works out. And then a 92 for Tenru and the Gladiator, Mike Awesome. As Mike Awesome and Tenru have uh, a great chemistry, which is awesome to see. Sucks that we're not going to be able to use that more often. But, uh, yeah, because that'd be a pretty banging match. Mike Awesome, fucking the man. What a, what a match. What a win and what a main event. 90 there. Not bad at all. Now we just have two more tour shows left to do. Alrighty, night 11. And so we got a big-ass 10-man tag as this main event. As, uh... Yeah, this is massive, this 10-man tag, though. It's basically the junior titles plus the tag team title matchup all into one match. It's gonna be a time limit draw, which that's our third draw during this entire tour. I know we're kind of going draw heavy, but some of this, you know, I feel like it's definitely necessary, especially this match in particular. Again, hopefully nobody gets hurt. We're also gonna have, now we're gonna flip-flop as far as Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. Their matches are now gonna be against Kensuke Sasaki and Hiroshi Hase, respectively. So we'll do the Cactus Hase match first, which yeah, everyone, you know, probably saw that one coming. Hase's beating Cactus Jack. Terry Funk and Kensuke Sasaki. Terry Funk's gonna beat Kensuke Sasaki, so they'll go one and one. Then, uh, Holy Demon Army versus the Super Generation Army. Kawada, Tawei, Fuchi, and Masato Tanaka against Mitsuru Masawa, Kento Kobashi, Siyoshi Kikuchi, and Jun Akiyama. This is actually going to be way higher on the card as Masawa's going to beat Masato Tanaka. Yeah, I think that's actually going to go... He, uh, yeah, I'll split the singles matches. So, this was supposed to be uh, Jinichiro Tenryu and... Shunji the against Masato Fuchi and Masato Tak. Obviously, that's now out of the plans. We'll go with the Can-Am Express now instead. As we'll have Furnace beat Tenryu. Perfect. We'll give this more time, obviously, as well. Because this is a pretty banger matchup. Sick. So yeah, um, we'll need a Steal the Show matchup. As, oh, no, actually, it didn't even add this. There we go. Dinner is a little upset by that. Makes sense. So yeah, we definitely will need a Steal the Show matchup. Probably go back to the tag team scene. Probably another junior tag match. Just feel like I can't go wrong with it. We might actually use, uh... Kakuta and, um, yeah, probably use Kakuta and Yusuda, as far as, like, the MMA, MMA crossover guy guys, have them team up, to take on the Damien Vampiro team, so we'll have Vamp get a win, in that matchup. Yeah, we'll have it be a Steal the Show match. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure exactly if that's going to be anything better that we can put together. Because I honestly just want to add just two Young Lion matches and call it a day. So we'll go with uh, Shinzaki this time. It, it, even though he's not a Young Lion, but he's, you know, fits somewhat the bill. Dory Funk Jr., actually. Um, Hiro Saito. And then we'll have Dory Funk Jr. lose to either Kyoshi Tomorrow or Osamu Nishimura. I'm trying to get Jinsei Shinzaki up. Yeah, we're really pissing off a lot of people this show in this tour, but that's fine. That is fine. You gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet. And that is what we are doing with this roster. We're making some omelets out of some guys. We're trying to build them up. Yeah, I think really with Osama Nishimura, he's so close. You see there, he's like almost in the 50s. He beats Dory Funk Jr. here. I think that's really gonna help him out. Pretty sure we've done this before. Oh, first time meeting. Perfect. Eat uh, as of some Anishimura are going to get the win. Because, like, him and Kyoshi Tamora, I think, are really talented. you got to get him up there. Yuji Nagata, of course, you got to get him up there. A lot of guys still to be built up. That is for sure. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better match. So we'll bump that up. And then we'll change this to 2.30. We're in the show. And then we got one more tour show left. Let's go. Saito and Jinsei Shinzaki at opener. It was pretty close. Pretty close. 
Jinsei Shinsaki still a little bit ways away, though, unfortunately. So, Samon Ishimura beating Dory Funk Jr., who's 39. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Vampiro and Damien against uh, Kakuta and Yusuda. Kakuta's pretty decent. And so is uh, Yusada, too. Uh, Yusuda, rather not Yusada. Not the fucking... The, the testing commission for <laughs> the UFC. But uh, Vampiro, with a nail in the coffin. Fun match. Again, that junior tag division scene is just fantastic. Furnace and Crawford beating Tinru and Shunji Takano. As Doug Furnace with Frankenstein are on Tinru. 82 for Terry Funk and Kensuke Sasaki. Another pile driver there from Terry Funk. 80 for the 8-man here of Holy Demon Army versus Super Generation Army. The main stars of the Super Generation Army do their thing. Uh, Jun Akiyama's injury is still playing a big part in hurting the, the show overall. Those matches overall, rather. And then Kawada with an 85. Tataway with a 78. 75 for Kekta Shack and Hiroshi Ase. Hase with a Northern Light Suplex in 20 minutes. And an 82 for our big-ass 10-man time limit draw. All about Dragon. Best guy in the match again. It's been fantastic. Then Dean. Then we got Steven Regal. We got Hayabusa, Chono, Mudo. And all the way down. Norman Smiley being a 78 is pretty interesting. To be fair, Super Astro, worst guy in the match. You know, Wild Pegasus were kind of neck and neck there. To be the worst guys in the match. Not a bad show again. Probably could have been a little bit better. I would have hoped for a little bit better rating there on that main event. But it's not the end of the world. Again, we're just happy nobody's getting hurt. Final show of the tour. Uh, going into the final show of the tour. It's our final tour show. Fingers crossed it's a banger. Alright. Night, the uh, final night of the tour. Night 12. We have six matches, actually, on this card. We have a main event in Jinichiru Tenu versus Shin Yashimoto. We are really rolling the dice with Hashimoto here. If he gets hurt, that's going to suck. Then we got, as far as the co-main, I guess, that's this Blonde Crushers Tiger Mask 3 Jun Akiyama matchup as Candido's going to beat. He's going to beat Jun Akiyama because Jun's hurt. It just makes things a little easier. It's a big win for Candido. That's for sure. Yeah, I guess, boy, it gets really bad after that. Uh, El Samurai and Yuji Nagata against the Holy Demon Army. Masato Zaka is going to beat Yuji Nagata there. El Samurai is furious. Well, I guess that will now be Masanobu Fuchi getting the win. I absolutely hate that with a passion, how this fucking stupid game works. <laughs> when it comes to dumb shit like that. And uh, then we got... Boy, um... I guess Anamama, Gucci, and Otani, because I feel like Otani's going to have the better rating out of all those matches we have, is Otani over Anamama, Gucci, Hideki Ozaka over Dory Funk Jr. Well, at least Dory Funk Jr. can play in the Mitsuya Momoto over Samu, or, uh, yeah, Samu Nishimura, rather, over Mitsuya Momoto in 10 minutes. So, really, I think we have to add, like, a Young Lion matchup. I'm trying to think who hasn't been used the least. I guess it'd be Teo Kia. And <laughs> the Theodore's hitting little blinds over there if you're hearing that. Sorry about that. Hopefully we get through this as quickly as possible. Black Tiger 2, though, will be getting the win. We still need to have him beat Johnny Ace. Oh, thank God he stopped. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta hope he... <laughs> He's got a mind of his own sometimes, and he'll just keep on going for hours like an idiot. So yeah, we have a lot of singles matches. So really, the big thing I would love to do is is add a tag. We'll go Flash and Smash. Uh, yeah, against the Fantastics. Why not? First time meeting. We'll have Rannigans get the win. There we go, tour is in the books. We did it. Another tour down. I feel like we're gonna put it there. Alrighty, and um, yeah, I guess Chubu. I don't know though. It's tough because Bray yeah, and the Walking Dead. I'm glad we looked at that. that. That's definitely the better option. Yeah, for sure. For sure. 62 for the opener. Black Tiger 2 with the gory special on Teo Kia. 58 for Osama Nishimura and Mitsuya Momoto. Yeah, Nishimura's in the 60s now. A good sign. 
54 for Hideki Ozaka and Dory Funk Jr. Building Bomb from Hideki Ozaka. Story Funk Jr. still the shits. Renegans and Scott Norton do get outperformed by the Fantastics. Tough break. There, as Brett Renegans was the worst guy in the match. And he got the... Oh, sorry, excuse me. Had a, had a hiccup. As uh, Brett Renegans was the worst guy in the match. He still gets the win. As Shinjiro Tani beating Inamamaguchi in this match was the worst. Should have been way lower on the card. That got a 40. Fuchi and Masato Tanaka beating El Samurai and Yuji Nagata. Right team wins. Masato Tanaka going to be doing very well for himself because of this chemistry boost. So that's nice to see. 79 for Candido and Johnny Ace against Junakiyama and Tiger Mask 3. It's Blonde Bombshell win for Candido over Junakiyama. Yeah, everybody did really well, but Junakiyama, obviously this would have been a lot better if his injury didn't happen. And Hashimoto beating Jinichiro Tenru with the Vertical Drop Ring Buster in 2156 to get the win. Going into the final night to take on Mitsuha Masawa. Big match. Big match there as far as for Masawa and and uh, Shinya Shimoto. But that is the tour part. Now on to the final show. We'll see if new champions will be crowned. Who will retain. in all of that fun jazz. Alrighty. So unfortunately Cactus Jack cannot make the show. It's a bummer. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. I could have rescheduled it to make it to where it fits his schedule better. But it's already the end of the month. And I'm, I don't want to run in you know, the New York Giants series show in February. So... We're, we're with this, and uh, it's he's going to be replaced by the Gladiator, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's, I mean, pretty simple-ish replacement there. I don't think it's that crazy, and, and you know, we just can, you know, in story, you know, you miss the flight. <laughs> he can't be there, and he can't, you know, we, you know, send out a press or something. But Brad Armstrong, let's see what he's doing as far as he was probably putting somebody over, I had to guess. Yep, Kyoshi Gamora. What an absolute legend. So our main event, of course... Kira Tawe, Kenta Kobashi, banger. Kenta Kobashi is going to beat him. Third defense for Kenta Kobashi. Hell of a run so far. Obviously, um, with the Grand Heavyweight title, he's going to be the leader as far as for defenses for a long time until he ends up eventually dropping the belt. So, uh, you know, he, he's just setting records as he goes along here with every passing day for the most part. But that's a, that should be a banger for sure. Then Chono and Mudo. Versus British Combat Club. Norman Smiley is going to get the win here. Another retain. Could have won either way, honestly. Sure, you know, Chono and Mudo, they beat them during the tag league. And, of course, British Combat Club beat them to become the Unified Junior Tag... Or the Unified, rather, just regular tag team champions. So, they're one and one Could have went a lot of different ways with it. Just felt like British Combat Club get that win again when it matters the most. And Yeah, just all around, I think that's the, a good decision. I think that's, that's a really good decision. So now the uh, junior tag matchup. Wild Pegs of Steam, Malenko, Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro. This should be an absolute banger. They're going to retain Ultimo Dragon, Super Astro, as Ultimo Dragon's going to beat Wild Pegs. Yeah, we're going to make sure that the belts are actually on the line there. That would be smart. Then Nuki Sano, Hayabusa. Hayabusa is going to retain against Nuki Sano. Big win. And that, we gave them a lot of time. We're going to bump that down a little bit to 25 minutes. There is that. Then, Shinya Hashimoto versus Mitsuha Masao in what is announced as a number one contendership matchup. And Shinya Hashimoto is taking on Kenta Kobashi. Is taking on Kenta Kobashi at the Excite Series Tour with that win over Mitsuha Masao. Of course, he gets that revenge win over Masao after Masao beat him for the IWGP Everweight title last year in May at the Super Power Series show. That was a 97 when we ran that then. We'll see how it does here. Mess, I was a little upset, but he should be fine. And what was Terry Funk Cactus Jack, but now Terry Funk and the Gladiator losing to Roshi Hase and Kinsuke Sasaki. So no titles change hands, all five belts staying on the champions. An interesting New Year Giant series, that's for sure. Holy Demon Army, Miracle Violence Alliance, the sixth man, Terry Gordy's going to beat Ogawa. Guess that's pretty fair. Then Super Generation Army of what is... Siyoshi Kuchi, Junakiyama, and Tiger Mask 3 against Stan Anson, Johnny Ace, and Chris Candidos. Candidos going to beat Siyoshi Kikuchi there in a Steal the Show matchup. Banger. Absolute banger. We'll go with some pre-show stuff. I'm trying to think who... Like, yeah, Tenru. Okay, perfect. We'll have Tenru lose to somebody. He's got a lot of options. Let's go Johnny Smith. That would really help out the British Combat Club. John Smith getting a win. And we'll just leave it there. Just have one pre-show match. 
Why not? Why not? Make sure we're in the dome. You are not in the dome. Oh my, 81,000 people. Jesus Christ, we could fill it twice. <laughs> That's nuts. Lord, that is a lot of people. Let's run the show. Here for this New Year Giant series. So it's 78 for the opener. Or for the pre-show, rather. Johnny Smith does outperform Jeannie Trudeau Tim at the Death Valley Bomb. It's a good win for Johnny Smith. He needs that as an 80 for the opener. Stan Hansen with a 96. Too short for the important match in the, in the eyes of the fans, but obviously we had to have something to get the show match up. Stan Hansen with a 96. That was tremendous. And Kikuchi and Tiger Mask 3 doing a lot of heavy lifting as well. As Candido beating Kikuchi, probably a mistake. Probably should have had him beat Junakiyama again, but... Yeah, we're trying with Candido. We're trying to get him to the 80s. That's for sure. 86 for the Holy Demon Army against Miracle Vines Alliance. The sixth man is Gordy pinning Ogawa. Yeah, I mean, obviously Doc and Albright did tremendous in Kawada and Fuchi. Really, we didn't see a lot of Doc and Albright during this tour. Uh, you know, we saw Doc at the beginning, and that was pretty much it. I once he lost to Kobashi, so that's, that's massive. Massive for sure. Terry Funk and the Gladiator losing to Kinsuke Sasaki and Hiroshi Hase. Right team wins. Probably would have been a better match, obviously, if Cactus is there, but it is what it is. Fun match, though. Tase and uh, Kinsuke Sasaki make that defense number three. They're all Asia Tag Team titles. 96 for Hashimoto and Mitsu Mitsuha Masawa. It's Hashimoto with the jumping spike DDT in 32 minutes. Great fucking match. Obviously, if it's non-title match, it, it would have been a lot higher if it was a title match. Probably could have put this as the co-main, honestly, and it would have been very much in a, in a good spot for it, but... You know, I just feel like the title match should be a little higher than a non-title match. Even though it's a number one contendership matchup, though. Yeah, 90 here for Nuki Sano and Hayabusa. Lack of psychology there. Falcon Arrow, though, for Hayabusa. And that's his third defense as well for the his title reign. 97 for Dean and Wild Pegasus against Ultimo Dragon and Super Astro. Probably could have pulled the trigger here. Probably could have done that. 96 and 90, that's crazy. Like, that's so good for a junior heavyweight tag team. And uh, Wild Pegasus and Dean Malenko. That, that's huge. Absolutely huge. And then 95 for our co main event, Masahiro Chono, Kaiji Muto, losing to Steven Regal and Norman Smiley. 98 for both guys there. And tremendous stuff, though. And again, two teams with excellent chemistry. Who knew that would have worked out so well? And our main event, it's a 97. Let's hope he'd be a little bit better by our announcing. Just can't deliver to the, the task that we need him to. Is Burning Hammer for Kobashi over Kira Tally in 32 44. A banger. You know, it was a banger show. Really, the only thing that was kind of a misstep was the opener, and that was just because there was somebody so important that it brought it down. Because I should have been way higher than an 80, with Stan Anson getting like a 96 and seeing some 80s in there as well. Can't be mad at that show. Obviously, you know, we're at the point where we should be doing that consistently with every show, every major show, having matches that, like, most of them are 90 and above. Like, we're at that point in the save where it's like yeah we have a pretty solid roster we've built people up pretty well now it's just time for them to deliver and we're we're, we're doing that i feel like we're doing a really good job so far but we're, yeah we're gonna put over hashimoto we're gonna put over kobashi and uh yeah i guess uh sucks i can't put over just you know british combat club because they they had a really big night yeah um we might go masawa yeah but just because he was a little upset, but I've put over Hashimoto, just makes sense. Yeah. Hell of a show. Hell of an episode. Thank you all for watching. Sorry for the delay. Um, with this day, at least it should be out. I know it's going to be out Sunday. We're, we're going to try to actually do it in the afternoon. So that should be fun. Try to upload it around noonish, ish one-ish uh, Eastern time. So everybody can get it right when they can uh, because of the delay. Because unfortunately, uh, just with this new mouse i could book like four shows at a time now instead of like going on a run where i could sit down and pretty much book like almost the entire episode and kind of one sitting now about four shows in i'm like oh god i gotta take a break because it's just the mouse. it's too big <laughs> it's just too big for my low hand i guess or it's, it's too wide is what it is that's what it is it's just too wide and it stretches out my hand and it's a whole thing but uh you know it's not the end of the world could be worse could be worse, but I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, everyone.